Hi folks, today I want to show you a cheap, easy, and effective way to clean a diesel particulate filter, or a DPF. Now in this example I'm using a heavy duty diesel particulate filter out of a DD15, a Detroit engine. Now here you see one of the DPFs. This particular model uses two DPFs working together in what they call a one box. The number of filters used or shape or size or anything like that doesn't really matter. The overall purpose of the filters is the same. It's there to trap and collect soot from the engine. Now we won't go into how to regenerate these filters and how they work that way. That That's for another video, but this is just about cleaning them when they've reached the end of their service life, when they're filled with ash. Now most manufacturers are going to recommend that you replace these filters they're gonna have exchange programs set up where you give them your dirty filter and they'll give you a previously cleaned filter that they've cleaned themselves this usually costs a lot of money some manufacturers have authorized cleaning procedures that could be done at your local shop for example uh, air cleaners are typically what's used but we found that air cleaning is not very effective and a lot of manufacturers are now getting away from that they're not recommending it they don't endorse it Air cleaning still leaves a large percentage of the filter plugged. You're not getting full flow through it after it's cleaned. Manufacturers are now starting to go to a liquid cleaning process. It's a little fancier than what I'm going to show you here, but it's also a lot more expensive. What I'm going to show you now is very effective. We've had great luck with it. And it really couldn't be simpler. We're just going to pressure wash the filters out. This method looks pretty crude and you won't find it in any manual from any engine manufacturer but it works and we've ran this by some of the head trainers from people like Cummins and Detroit and they won't go on record to tell you this but they'll give you a nod when you tell them that you're doing it you want to make sure not to use any chemicals or cleaning solutions of any kind just straight water heated water preferably you also want to spray in the opposite direction of the exhaust flow to push the soot and ash back out the way it came. If you're using high pressure, don't get too close to the cell walls. You don't want to damage the substrate or knock out some of the plugs at the end of the cells. You'll be able to see the soot and ash coming out the back side of the filter as you spray it. Just continue to spray until the water coming out of it looks relatively clean. And be sure to get the entire face area of the filter. The outside edges can hold a lot too. This method is also very effective at getting contaminants out of the filters. If, for example, you've had a ruptured EGR cooler and you have coolant into the system, it can wash it out. I have access to an air cleaning machine, but it's to the point now where it rarely gets used. This is usually the preferred method. So, once again, I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you want to see more of them, don't forget to subscribe. So, thanks for watching.